What's up everybody? Dapper Jeff here. Today is the season two finale of Well Fed. For 40 episodes, you guys have followed along, cooked with me, learned with me, and gamed with me. Today, I decided camaraderie is great, but let's spice things up a little bit. In Battle for Azeroth, we learned about this new mineral, Azerite, which has amazing effects on whoever possesses it. So, of course, both the Horde and the Alliance want it. I'm making some right here in my kitchen. You guys can make it, too. I'm Dapper Jeff. Let's go. Alright guys, so before you begin your uh, ingredient prep and mixing everything together, one thing I wanted to show you, my pro tip for the week, um, take your almonds, and I'm doing almonds and peanuts, throw them in a Ziploc bag, put a towel underneath, call a local shaman and get a hammer, maybe even the doom hammer, and just <laughs> smash them up real good like, and they will go awesome in these cookies. All right, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is take one cup of softened butter. That's two sticks for most people like me who, you know, how many, how many butter is in a cup? I don't know. So you're going to want to take your one cup of uh, butter, softened, seven tablespoons of white sugar over the top. We have half a teaspoon of pure almond extract. I'm going to pour that on and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Pour that in. At this point, we're gonna cream it all together, so I'm gonna fold it and mash it and mix it till it's nice and well composed. It's gonna take a minute or three. Uh, if you guys have a, a hand mixer, you can use that. I'm opting to do this by hand because I figure it's a World of Warcraft recipe. And in Azeroth, I'm pretty sure they don't have hand mixers. Unless those darn goblins and gnomes have invented them. Oh, those goblins and gnomes. Those little engineering dynamos. They'll engineer darn near anything. Especially goblins. Especially if it goes boom. Okay. That looks very well incorporated. Looks like everything's blended well together. So, I'm gonna... Kind of try to scrape off my spatula there. All right. So I think at this point we are going to take our two cups of all-purpose flour and mix it on in. Whew. Look at all that flour. I feel like a flour boy, a flour man. And I'm gonna continue to <laughs> mix it together. And as Doctor is highlighting the mess that I'm making. Thank you, Doctor. Because, you know, that's okay. Please, highlight my shortcomings. That actually makes me a better person. Because I can figure out where I went wrong and how to not go wrong again in the future. And now you're just shining a light on my belly. Which is diminishing. Not after these cookies, it's not. All right. Um, give me two seconds, because I'm actually going to set my spatula aside. I'm going in. I'm going in like any good warrior would, even though I don't play warrior. Going in barehanded. Ah! Mixing components together. Mooshing them until they're well combined. So our next step is to take our awesome cookie, add some blue food coloring. Um, I'm gonna just kind of start adding a bunch uh, because we want to go for a nice like deep blue um, for those of you who haven't seen azurite it's this trippy like almost a lion's blue color um, i know it's kind of showing up as black on all of our stuff right now but that's okay that's okay you know nothing's perfect initially so i'm gonna mix it all the try to mix it together with my spatula that's what I call a spatula. All right. See, we're getting we're getting that lighter blue as we mix it. 
If I was smart, I probably would have added the coloring to the butter, but little idea for next time. Add the food coloring to the butter and not just, you know, the after result. I'm gonna add in, uh, I have one cup of crushed almonds and one cup of crushed peanuts. Figure I'd make this extra nutty. Uh, if you have a nut allergy, please, please, please do not use these ingredients. Um, I don't want angry emails, hey Dapper Jeff. I have a nut allergy and I almost died. So, much like earlier, I'm using my bare hand and I'm just gonna incorporate everything. I'm just kinda make sure everything's mooshed together. Next step is you just grab a, grab a, a, a bit, apply pressure liberally in your hands till it's about the size of a hazelnut and that's probably a little too big. Although, I don't know, that's, that's about hazelnut sized, right? Okay, I'm gonna take our crushed pie shells. I grabbed one Oreo and one graham cracker. And I'm gonna kind of gently apply that just to the outside of our azurite cookie. Because, you know, azurite's a mineral, it's found in the dirt. And set it on an ungreased baking sheet. I have here a foil lined. Like I said, this recipe is super easy. Um, it's a great you know, recipe for getting your kids into cooking. It's great for beginners if you're not really sure. Um, just, you know, yeah. So I'm gonna take care of these and I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys. So once you've coated your Azurite cookies in that fantastic crispy cookie shell, you're gonna walk over to your oven that you've preheated to 350. You're gonna open the oven door. You're gonna slide your cookies right on in. And I'm gonna set my timer for about 15 minutes. because so that should be just long enough to get these babies finished. Or if you don't have an oven, um, find a mage, you know, they can test some fire spells. Or go to Molten Core and just, you know, set them on the ground for five minutes. All right, guys, our 15-minute timer's up, and I've got my silicone gauntlet. Some might call it an oven mitt. But I play WoW. I'm a warrior of the culinary arts. This is my gauntlet. Gonna reach into my oven and extract our Azerite cookies. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dapper Jeff, those don't look much like cookies. They look like nuggets. And, well, you're right. But, Azerite comes in nugget form. So I'm gonna let these cool for a minute, and let them take a taste. All right guys, that's how you make your very own Azerite cookies at home. I'm Dapper Jeff. Like I said, it's the season two finale. I'm gonna take three weeks off, so I'll see you guys on June 23rd. But until then, please stay well fed. Don't forget, comment below to tell me what games you want me to cook from. I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Uh, I, I gotta go. Bye, guys! So, the Horde has found something valuable, then? They have indeed. This 